So here's another empirical formula problem for you guys. Um, this one says vitamin C or ascorbic acid contains 40.92% carbon, 4.58% hydrogen, and 54.50% oxygen by mass. What is the empirical formula of ascorbic acid? So it doesn't tell you how much you actually analyze. Okay, so since it's giving you percentages, the easiest way, because eventually you're going to have to convert these to masses and then to moles, I guess I should start there. But since it's giving you percentages, the easiest way for you to think about it is if you started out with a total mass of 100 grams, okay? So if you started out with 100 grams, right, 40.92 mass percent of that would be 40.92 grams. Does everybody understand what I'm saying? Okay. So the best way to think about it is, in this case, your mass total of vitamin C vitamin C is going to be 100, however many zeros you want to put, grams. Okay. So if that's the case, 40.92% of 100 grams, right, mass percent, is going to be, so the mass of carbon, if that's the case, is going to be 40.92 grams of carbon. Everybody okay with me doing that? Anybody not understand why you can do something? So I'm just going to do it to the other ones. So 4.58 grams of hydrogen, the mass of oxygen is going to be 54.50 grams of oxygen. So again, the total mass then would be 100 grams. If you added all those up, you get up. <clears throat> Remember though, in the empirical formula, we the um, so we've got something like this x, y, and z. So those subscripts of those um, elements are all going to be whole numbers, right? And they're all a mole-to-mole -mole ratio of each other, a whole number mole-to-mole -mole ratio. They're not a mass-to-mass -mass ratio, is what I'm saying. Okay, for those of you who are com very confused right now. Okay? So in other words, we have to convert these masses to moles in order to get those x, y, and z. So how do I do that? Well, I know the molar mass from the periodic table. Of all of these, I'm just going to do them all at once. And I'm just putting the hydrogen and the carbon there to keep my place. Okay, so let's cancel out what we can cancel out. So. I'm just going to do these problems. So, 40 divided by 12.01. This gives me 3.407. Um, 4.58 divided by 4.57. So now, would anybody 
mind if I erase this part of the board so I can have a little bit of room? No. So now what I want to do is figure out what x, y, and z are. In order to do that, I have to get put those mole ratios in there. So c is 3.407. H is 4.54, and O is 3.406. Okay. Then I divide by the smallest of those numbers. In this case, 3.406 is going to be the smallest, or 3.407 is the same thing. Remember, we're getting really close to these whole number ratios. Once you get close to them, we say, you got it. Okay, so if I divide this, that's going to be close to the ratio of 1 to 1. Is everybody okay with that? So it's going to be C1, H something, let's figure that one out, 4.54 divided by 3.406. So. 1.33 and O1. Okay? So I'm just putting those ones there as a placeholder for right now. Remember, you don't put ones as subscripts, so in my final answer, I wouldn't put those. Okay? But <clears throat> hopefully, you guys see that this is not an integer, right? 1.33. So in order to um, get the empirical formula, what I would do is multiply by each integer consecutively until I get all three of them being very close to integers. Okay, does everybody understand what I'm doing? Okay, so if I multiply them all by two, well, if I multiply them by one, right, I get that. If I multiply it by two, I get C2 H2.66 O2, like that, right? If I multiply it by 3, which is what I'm going to multiply it by, I'm going to get C3 H3, um, three, sorry, 3.99, which is essentially 4, right? So H4, O3. And that's going to be an empirical formula. Why is it that one? Because you have a whole number of ratios of all of them. Okay? So, the empirical formula of this thing is C3H4O3. So again, remember, you have to get the moles from the grams. But in order to get the grams, you got to get that from the percentages. Okay? If they give you percentages, it's probably best to say your total volume or your to total mass of your sample initially was 100 grams. So it'll make it, your life a lot easier. Any questions on this one? Speak now.